There are three glute training barriers that are standing in your way to get the strong, shapely glutes you've always wanted. Let's go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Critical Bench YouTube channel. I'm Coach Brian here with criticalbench.com. You guessed it, you're on the right channel, and I'm talking to all those glute lovers out there. Men love glutes. Women love glutes as well. So everybody has something to gain from this video. So I'm Coach Brian, I'm one of the strength coaches here. I'm a functional movement specialist. I'm a strength coach. I'm a human performance, just aficionado. I love everything performance related. Not only that, but I also love all things wellness and health as well. I love posture, I love fixing bad, imbalances i love it all not only have i trained world-class athletes but i've also trained the oldest of old individuals so wherever you fall on that spectrum even beginners all have i've trained them all i've trained young old good and bad i've trained them all and it all comes down to good mechanics doing the right thing all the time so there's three things that i want to share with you about in this video I, are you ready to learn some some knowledge bombs of first grade level? Now, I know that you're not a, a science nerd like I am. I love science, so if you want, if, if you are a science nerd and want all the science nerd facts, I'm gonna put a bunch of resources in the video description area under this video so you can geek out all you want on those research uh, articles. But for us, for all the individuals that are wanting just the layman's terms, the, the facts, get in, get out with all this, without all this scientific jargon, keep watching because I'm gonna keep this at the simplest levels. So uh, before I share with you the three glute barriers, I have got something for you. Today, uh, we put together a special promo code for this. This is my program called Unlock Your Glutes. I want you to take advantage of the discount that we put together just for watching this video. This program we've put together, you've got a body weight routine, you've got a, uh, an in-gym routine. This is gonna get you a rounder, stronger, more shapely, toned, but I mean, there's really no way to put it, but this is a program that is gonna be used in any setting for anyone. So please take advantage of our discount right now underneath this video, click the pinned link in the comment section. So the reason why I'm talking about glutes today is because we received so many comments and questions here on our YouTube channel, but also on Instagram and Facebook as well about I'm doing everything that you're telling me to do, but my glutes are not growing. Okay. Well then as a strength coach, I got to say, all right, this is your, this is your, this is what you want. Are you doing every, and I mean everything in order to get what you want. And most of the time people say, oh, I'm not doing this. Okay, well, then let's do that and then follow the chain of command, the firing order, and then you're gonna get what you want, okay? So there's three glute barriers that are preventing you from getting strong glutes. The, the first barrier, and again, if you've been on our channel long enough, you, you know these things, but I'm gonna try to put a different twist on it that you might not have heard before, uh, just to give you some more some more uh, ammunition to go into your workout with. But the first glute barrier is the squat myth. We all think the squat is the best glute exercise. We did a poll on our, our channel here uh, in our community tab. By the way, if you're not following us on our community tab, you're missing out on some awesome content. We give away so much free stuff in there. We give you behind the scenes of what it's like here at the office. We, we tell you about our other platforms like our podcast that we've got called Strong By Design. We tell you about our Teespring store. We've got Amazon Prime content on there, all different stuff within that community tab. So uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but I, oh yeah, I put a poll in there the other day saying what is the number one glute exercise and our loyal uh, Critical Bench fans, they know right off the bat which is the best exercise. But believe it or not, there's a lot of people that put squat as the best exercise. Now, the squat is a great exercise. Don't don't hear me say the squat is not a good exercise. The squat is a phenomenal exercise, but it's more for the quads, where if you're looking to build your glutes, quads, glutes, quads, glutes. You see what I'm trying to get at? The glutes are not the quads. Squats, quads. Hip thrust, glutes. The hip thrust is the number one glute exercise. We've got videos talking about the hip thrust, how to do the hip thrust, all different ways to make it harder, make it easier, but the hip thrust is the number one glute exercise. The reason why the squat is not the number one glute exercise is because 
To keep it simple, it's a vertical movement. Your glutes are gonna be hit best when they're in a horizontal movement. And when I'm talking about that is vertical is this, this. Horizontal is this, got it? Okay, so hip thrust is a horizontal movement. Yes, you're moving your hips up and down, but your spine is horizontal. Squats, hip thrust, squats, hip thrust. Yay, yeah, you're gonna hit a little bit of the glutes with the squats, but the beautiful thing about doing the hip thrust versus the squats, obviously all science proves that the hip thrust is more effective, but it's gonna save your knees. And for a lot of people, that's kind of more important than having a nice, shapely rear end they want to have good knees or if they say oh my knees hurt i can't get the body i want well yes you can so why not do something that's safe on the knees safe on the spot and it's going to give you what you want okay so my program unlock your glutes has a bunch of cool hip thrust exercise variations in there so it's built in it's it's the backbone of the product it, it includes that um, yeah so definitely squats they're good but they're not the best so if you're doing squats in, in hopes to get your, your glutes rounder and stronger it's going to take you a while and you're probably going to hurt your knees and you're probably not going to get the butt that you want so i don't know i don't know where that leaves you but definitely uh, yeah there you go so glute barrier number two super long workouts i'm talking like spending hours and hours and hours and hours in the gym just doing just stuff just like not just not even know what you're doing just doing stuff lots of stuff so i'm a dad i'm a husband i'm a, a business owner i'm i'm a friend i'm a i'm a i'm an active member of our church i'm i'm all over the place and i don't have a lot of time to work out i don't want to spend three hours in the gym if, if you want to spend three hours in the gym because you have no kids you've got a, a super easy job where you only work a couple hours of the week and you have 20 hours a week to spend in the gym this video is not for you. This program is not for you. This is for all of the, our other people who are in the working class. They've, they're pulled in many different directions. They don't want to spend more time than they have to exercising. The cool thing about this program, Unlock Your Glutes, and the cool thing about glute training, you don't have to spend, or honestly, you don't even have to spend time in the gym. You can do all these exercises from home. You can build an incredible butt from home or you know, at your office or the park. You don't need to take along all this bulky equipment with you. Some of the best training you can actually do is in a form of body weight. So, and again, you don't have to spend hours upon hours if you do the right sequencing of exercises, of motor patterning, of muscle activation, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your, your bum, bang for your buck, bang for your bum. Yeah, it makes sense. But a lot of, a lot of focus, is put on by the the fitness community of like oh you got to get into the gym you got to do you got to spend an hour doing these heavy strength training exercises well research proves otherwise yeah those all have great benefits don't get me wrong like and again but as as a as a practicalian as a practical individual who is a realist I don't want to spend six hours in the gym doing stuff I don't want to be doing. I want to do what I want to do and still have time to do what I want to do. Does that make sense? So you don't have to spend a lot of time in the gym doing stuff you don't want to do. So there is hope for your glutes if you fall in that category. So the last glute barrier, number three, coming up strong as your glutes are sleeping. They're asleep, they're sleeping, they're dormant, they're inactive, well, they're, they're active, but not like to the point where they're like active, active, like hyperactive, like give them some riddle inactive. Like they're not like that. They're active, but they're just being like this. They're like, oh, wake me up, I'm tired. Give me a cup of coffee to get me going. Uh, yeah, so your glutes are sleeping. You sit all day. You're probably sitting right now on your butt, putting them to sleep. They're, you're causing that sitting thing that we're doing. I'm standing by the way. The sitting thing that you're doing right now is causing your glutes to go asleep. And so what happens? They don't wake up because your hips are chronically tight. If you're not stretching out your hips, your hips are, or your glutes are not gonna fire properly. Your hips are tight, your glutes are inactive by the compression that your body is doing on them. So what you need to do, you gotta wake up your glutes. If you're not waking your glutes up before you actually train your glutes, your glutes are still gonna be used but at a much less capacity. In other words, wake up your glutes, more activation or more more bang for your bum. If your glutes are sleeping, you're gonna just like 
kind of cap out right here. Like you want to be like off the screen. Like you can't even see my hand. It's like, it's way up there. You want to, you don't want to be here. You want to be right there at the top of the screen, at the top of the level. You have to be following these sequences of activation exercises to prime your glutes, get them ready for your workout. All right, so in summary, here we go. Glute barrier number one, what is it? Got it, right, squat myth. Thank you for answering that. Glute barrier number two, super long workouts. Boring, long, drawn out, intense, crazy, long, monotonous strength training workouts. That's a myth. You don't have to do that in order to get the butt that you want. Now, of course, someone's gonna argue with me being like, yo, you gotta do some strength training. Well, of course you do, but if you're starting at ground zero, you can do a lot and get a lot out of bodyweight exercises. Even the most advanced bodybuilders still do bodyweight exercises. So prove me wrong that even the most elite are still doing stuff that I'm recommending for beginners. Figure that one out. All right, glute barrier number three, sleeping glutes. Get rid of them, get rid of those sleeping glutes, wake them up and then go through everything. So that's it. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two on how to get over these glute training barriers. Hey, thanks for watching. I know you're gonna definitely wanna check out my program, Unlock Your Glutes. I mentioned and I talked about it all throughout this video. So go underneath the, this video right now. In the comment section, I'm gonna pin the link in order for you to take advantage of this special discount that we're running right now for this video. Now, if you're not into the, the physical stuff, if you don't want a book or DVD, we have a digital copy available for you. So again, click that link, learn more about this program and how you can get the glutes that you've always wanted. Have an awesome day. We'll see you in the next video.